Hi everyone, it's Tawanda from Little Zoo and welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of using AI to generate a design for your t-shirt or hoodie printing business. So, getting started, I'm going to open up my browser. Personally, I prefer using this Bing Copilot website to generate the images I use for my t-shirts or hoodie. Of course, there's so many out there you can use and so many tools and websites you can use to create images for your t-shirts and hoodies, but I prefer this one, so don't be limited to what I'm doing here. So, once you've gone to the website, logged in or created your account, you're gonna get a page that looks like this one here. So the first thing you're gonna do is type in your prompt describing the kind of image you want to be created. So I'm sure I don't have to explain much about AI that, you know, the more details you add, the clearer it is in terms of description, the greater the chances of you getting exactly what you want. So in this case, I used AI to type in this description, generate a black and white outline image of a gorilla pumping weight. And these are the four images I got. But then I was like, mm, let me try put it a potato. And then I typed in potato and I got this one, these ones here. And they were a bit too soft for me too light-hearted so i thought of something darker and then i typed in a description generate a black and white outline image of a buff grim reaper and these are the ones i got so again i can always change that here let me just change the description here change it to buff potato press enter and have it generate a new image for me and then i can pick from the ones i've already created see if there's one i like best yikes okay so this is not what i thought would be <laughs> generated let me let, let me go back to the yeah let me go back to the grim reaper yeah let me let me use these ones instead those ones are just ugh. anyway so i'll download this and then now we can go ahead and open gimp Right, so I've already created an A4 template and put a horizontal, sorry, a vertical guide right over here. I have a white background here, but we can also create a new one. I'll leave it as a new layer, leave it like that. I'll show you why I've done that. Now I can click and drag my image, put it here. And then make the adjustments I need, maybe scaling it because it's too small. Remember I said this is an A4 size. So if I put it around about here, that should be fine, click scale. Now, since I asked the AI to generate a black and white image, it's an image for the white background. That's why I removed the visibility here. And this was unnecessary, but I just put it there. But yeah, so now what I need to do is, if you're printing on a white t-shirt, it's okay. You can just go ahead and use it like that. But if you're not, you're gonna to have to remove the background from this image, which means going to the select by color tool, selecting the white, deleting it or cutting it out, removing it from the image, and then making sure you adjust your levels to make sure that the grayed out parts and the white parts are completely removed and it stays all black, like the lines and the parts of the drawing remain black. But I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna use it like this. So I'm gonna select my font, and then I'm going to type in a description or a label or whatever to go with the design. And there you have it, just like that. Probably takes you less than five minutes from the moment you generate the image until you reach this stage of where you add the text or the further description you need. So if you like this tutorial, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.